Hey everybody. Um, so it's day one of this vlog for you know weight loss. This morning I weighed in at around 195, so I'm about 18 pounds up from where I was maintaining earlier. So you know, I've, I actually got down to about 170, but it was real hard to maintain 170, 175. My body really didn't like that weight. Uh, 177 was really easy to maintain for me whenever I was, um, you know, exercising a lot over the summer when it wasn't as cold. So I'm about 18 pounds or, or so up, give or take a pound or two. But uh, so that's not that's not crazy. Like I said, when I was losing the weight before, I was averaging five to between five and eight pounds a week. I actually had lost uh, eight pounds a couple of times during during a few of the weeks when I lost the 75 pounds. That, that's a that's a lot of weight to lose in a, in a week. Um, I was pretty hungry those weeks. Today I've done pretty well though. I've 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 took in about 1,100 calories so far today, between 20,000 and 1,100. For breakfast I had my oatmeal. Uh, if y'all want to know about what kind of oatmeal I eat, I actually have a video on my channel. I think it was like the third or fourth video I posted, and uh, it'll show you exactly what I put in my oatmeal and and how I make it. For first break, I ate a, uh, a pastry crisp bar. They're 100 calories. They're made by Special K. I get the, uh, the strawberry ones. I, I just think they taste better. Strawberry and the blueberry are my, are my favorites, but uh, I usually just get the strawberries because I can find the bulk boxes of those. Uh, and then for lunch, I had three pieces of grilled chicken and some Heinz 57 sauce to go on it. Just dip it in. Um, Heinz 57 don't have a lot of calories. So... Uh, uh, I had just three small pieces of grilled chicken tenders and somebody asked me about how I cook it and the next time I, I cook my chicken I'll do a video and show you all how I how I do that. It's, it's pretty simple as long as you have a George Foreman grill. I'm sure you could do it some other ways but I don't have a lot of patience and so I just cook it on a Foreman because in about five minutes you can have five or six strips done. So that, that's the way I fix it. My my you know portions I take three pieces to work every day, and I always take some Heinz 57 to dip it in. You know, I don't slather it Heinz 57, but you know, I just dip it in. It gives it gives it some taste because I don't put anything on it when I grill it. I'm sure you can, but I just grill it plain and then and then dip it in that and eat it. So for last break at work, just to you know, kind of take the edge off. I um, I had another pastry crisp, another hundred calories. Those are my snacks. They're usually sweet enough to uh, to take the edge off of the sweet tooth that that I crave for sweet, and that helps me out. If if I get if it gets a little worse and I want something more, I'll I'll put low fat peanut butter on the pastry crisp. It's almost like a a peanut butter and jelly sandwich if you do that. But uh, I, I try not to to put peanut butter on it because there is a lot of calories in peanut butter, even though they're, they're not real terrible calories, there's, there's still a lot in it. Even the low fat has you know, quite a few calories in it. So uh, that's what I ate during the day. I came home, I did about six to seven minutes worth of abs. I've not really exercised much since it got cold back in probably November. So I, I wanted to start out a little bit light. So I did the, the first video or exercise on the Athlean X ab workout uh, app that you can get. It, it's a pretty good app, you get it, it's free. You get one week and you can do that week over and over and over if you want to, but I actually bought it. I don't think it was too expensive. I don't remember if it was 99 cents or 3.99, I can't remember, but it wasn't crazy expensive. And I forget how many weeks you get, eight weeks, nine weeks, I, I, I really can't remember if that looking. So I just did the first video on that and it was like five and a half, six minutes. And then I did four sets of 25 uh, push-ups for a total of 100 push-ups. So uh, that was my exercise for the day. I didn't want to, you know, go crazy. I was going to go jogging, but here in Tennessee, it's, you know, it was supposed to be warm today, but it wound up being like 40 degrees and raining. It was supposed to rain, and I, I don't care to run if it rains or sprinkles or something like that. That doesn't bother me. So uh, I would have run if it had been warm. But... You know, it was it wasn't warm, so I I didn't I didn't go run today. Hopefully tomorrow and some of the rest of the week it'll warm up a little bit, and uh, I can go jogging. I actually am planning on buying a a new set of earbuds to try on jogging. I 
I've got some, I've got a few sets of wireless headphones. I got a set of Bose Quiet Comfort that I really like, but I don't try to exercise in them because I don't want to get them real dirty. And then I've got a set of um, the uh, Skull Candy Crushers. They're actually really nice. I, I can do reviews on some headphones and some, you know, earbuds and stuff. Y'all want? We've got several pair of those, so uh, I can do reviews on that. I really like the Crushers. They have a lot of bass. And then I have a set of Hesh 2 Skull Candies that I keep at work. I have a lot of wireless headphones all over the place because I don't like wires. But the ones I used to run in were just a regular set of Skull Candies that have the wire. And it really got on my nerves. Having, I, I keep an armband on my arm that I keep my phone in. And the wires would come from it and it would get tangled up or they'd pull and they'd pull out of my ear and I like that. So I'm actually thinking about going one day this week if it rains again and getting a set of the Bose, um, I forget what they're called, some kind of sport, but they're a totally wireless earbud. I think they're about $200. You can find them at Best Buy for a couple hundred bucks. And they've got some cool features on them. They're like an IPX4 water resistant rated, so you can run in the rain if you, if you need to and the sweat doesn't, doesn't affect them too bad. And they're a little bulky from what I've seen on the pictures, but people say they stay in your ears pretty well. And Bose has a, has a good reputation for quality. And my Bose Quiet Comforts are great. They're really clear. Like I said, they don't have the, the base that the Crushers do, but the Crushers actually have a base control on them that you can slide up and down, and it actually adds base to it. So, you know, I, I'll probably wind up going with the with the Bose on those. Uh, I may get the blue ones that have some yellow on them, just so if I drop one while I'm running, just in case one does fall off, I go to the beach and run quite a bit, and I run around here um, at home. So just in case I do drop one in the sand or I drop one while I'm running, it should be easier to find with the with the blue and yellow other than the black, which the blue will probably stick out more, and I'll look more stupid with a big glob of blue hanging out my ear. But functionality-wise, you know, it's just easier to find if I drop one. And for $200, it's probably worth looking a little bit more silly than uh than losing one of those at that price i'll do a review on those and probably an unboxing if, if i do wind up getting them this week so back to back to my meals and stuff tonight i i may have like a some scrambled eggs and a, and a couple more pieces of, of grilled chicken which will probably boost me up to about i don't know 1400 calories 1450 calories or so and uh which most of those are good calories you know i didn't eat anything crazy today that was that was awful for me so i'll burn that off pretty quick i'll um i'll weigh again tomorrow like i said i weigh when i'm when i'm losing weight i weigh every morning because when you're losing five or six pounds a week you can tell a difference and what's crazy is though on like mondays and tuesdays like i, I don't see much weight loss you know it, it won't be much at all and then on wednesday it'll drop like three or four pounds i mean i don't know why wednesday's the day but wednesday seems to always be the day for me that when i'm losing weight i'll lose a lot of weight on wednesday morning on that way in and i don't know why but so you know it is what it is but uh i'll get back with y'all tomorrow and uh tell you what 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 I've lost and, and what kind of exercises I did tomorrow and if I could run. You're gonna see a lot of repetitive, repetitiveness, repetitiveness, I'll get out in a minute. In, in my routine, I eat a lot of chicken. I'm not, I'm not a cook, I'm not a chef by no means, so I eat the same thing over and over and over. I found something that works and I stuck with it. And I don't know if that's, that's good or bad and you really get tired of chicken under this deal and y'all may get tired of watching my videos because it's gonna be a lot of the repetitive stuff. Um, when I get more into like some more of the exercises, I can tell you some more about them. But for now, just doing the first week of this app, if y'all want to do that exercise, just go on there and it's a, it's an athlean six pack abs or something like that, um, app. And you just go to the app store and get it. It's free to download. If you want to buy it, you can do the longer term version. I can tell you this, I haven't not worked out much over the last three or four months, uh, those exercises were pretty easy back uh back towards the end when i before i quit doing them before i lost my motivation when it got cold and uh when i when i started back this time oh man it wasn't it wasn't as easy so you just you know that's a diminishing skill i guess i uh, doing abs kind of have to have to keep that up so you know it's it's that time of year again it is what it is so 
I also suffer through it till I get back to where I was and have my the strong core I had before I before I stopped. So, uh, you know, if y'all want to follow along, you you can. That'd be great. I wish y'all good luck. Like I said, I always consult a physician before you start this, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow.